Hello friends. So we have seen degenerate and reference dimensions in last uh, couple of our blogs. Usually what happens in a fact dimension model database that each of our fact records are associated with one and only one record in the dimension uh, table. Or conversely I could say that each uh, dimension record is associated with multiple fact records and the measures in these fact records roll up to, a, to the single dimension value. Uh, but, uh, so that is something which is quite customary. Unlike that, th there are few scenarios in which we would come across a fact record mapping to multiple dimensions. So uh, what I mean is a many-to-many -many mapping scenario. So what we see here is, uh, so that uh, that would be the topic of, of this blog. We would be seeing how we can uh, configure many to many mappings in uh, the S uh, SSAS and how uh, and that's to how without doubly counting the records that means how we can do that without uh, doubly counting the measures from the facts so let's take a simple example what we have here is fact internet sales table and we have fact internet sales reason and dim sales reason so these are the three tables which would be the prime focus of this of this blog if i were to explore the data of, of fact internet sales reason i have a, a calculated column so i just wanted to show this what we have here is sales order the line number the reason key uh, the sales reason key and this is a computed column which uh, denotes the sales order line number so for any order it it gives the order and its line number as well so that's that's about it uh, now now getting to uh, know the details what we have here is uh, let's go back and try to query out and see the results so basically we are uh, what we have here is we have the, the internet uh, dimension sales reason table which is having the sales reason names of the various reasons on which the sales occurred and a reason key associated with that so that's it and then we have fact internet sales reason uh, which is having the sales reason key now what we notice here is uh, what we see here is for any sales order number and line number we have a sales reason key associated but the important thing that we see here is for any fact record we have we are having multiple dimension records so there are multiple reasons of their of the sales so if i were to say for for uh, the order line num order number and line number uh, this one we have there are two reasons that is the manufacturer and quality reason names on which this uh, on which the uh, product was uh, sold so likewise uh, th we have this uh, values in the table now this is again uh, has been uh, it is with it is coming with a foreign key with the internet sales so if i go to the internet sales table or or query its metadata what we see here is it is having a foreign key relation with the internet sales and the internet sales reason is having the foreign key on the basis of the sales order number and line number so basically if I were to say uh, the internet sales reason is acting as a Y table or a junction table for the many to many mapping between the dimension sales reason and internet sales so for any order uh, and, and mind you the order number and the order line number is the primary key of for our internet sales so that's the primary key and the uh, the reason key is the primary key for dimension sales reason so so if and, and that the re, that's the reason key so this is the primary key on our dimension sales reason right as you can see that so uh, this is basically acting as the junction table uh, and now we have to see how we can if i if we were to calculate the orders uh, order quantity uh, and based upon their reasons which uh, or, or if we want to retrieve something a result of something this sort in our analysis services let's call it the uh, order quantity
so if I were to pull this data out how we can do this in analysis services because that's a many to many what many to many mapping so what we see here is I have joined for this CT SQL query I have joined fact internet sales with reason on the line number and the order number which are which is and with the, with uh, the dim sales reason I am doing that on the reason key and then I am grouping it on the reason name to get the quantity for each of the reason that's the order quantity so now how we can achieve this on SSAs that would uh, that is something that we would, we would be seeing in this blog uh, so to start with now that we know the metadata and the schema first of all what we need to do is we need to add a new dimension so let's go back and use our dim sales reason and let's select the name column as the reason name let's call it uh, the sales reason and that's it let's process this we get all the various reasons next what we got to do is let's go on the cube and add, add a measure so what we are going to do is we are going to add an internet sales reason measure on and this is uh, this is something which will which will be uh, count of rows on the and we don't need I mean they would this is not something which will act as a measurement on its own this is simply used in the many to many mapping that's all and how is that so we will, we will see that we've done that now let's go and add a cube dimension so we call the sales reason now for work so let's go to the dimension usage what we see in the sales reason is currently it is not associated with internet sales it at all to make it associated what we have to do is we have to select many to many mapping and then we got to select the intermediate measure group we've done that and that was the measure that we just created we say ok now if you see this uh, this sign sh uh, of infinity would show you this this denotes that it is a many to many mapping now let's process the cube And now the process is, uh, processing is done. Let's go on to the browser and now we can order quantity from the internet sales and the reason key. So this is precisely the, uh, the result that we wanted. So basically if you compare it, this is the precise res uh, result from the query that we have retrieved on the uh, SQL Server query analyzer uh, and this is the counts so basically there is no doubly counting of the order quantity uh, and the reason key is, is working perfectly uh, perfectly fine so that is something that we have quickly seen how we can uh, implement a many to many mapping uh, on our analysis services without doing a uh, duplicate counts I hope this was helpful to you guys stay tuned for my next uh, video and of course, if you are liking the, these uh, SSAs blogs, please subscribe.